What's up? This is EasyOSX, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set a firmware password on your Mac computer. To get started, you're going to need to hold down the Command key and the R key at the same time that you turn on the computer. You can let go of both the keys once you see the loading bar appear under the Apple logo. Be aware that the computer may take a little bit more time to boot compared to what you're used to. That's to be expected. So while it's doing this, I'm going to take some time to explain why you might want to set a firmware password. Normally out of the box, you can boot a Mac to the recovery partition, to a USB drive, or even a CD or DVD. You may want to do this to install Windows or Linux on the computer, or to wipe and erase the drive, or just to repair it. All of this is well and good, until someone that's not you tries to do the same thing. So if someone steals your machine, that means they could plug in a flash drive and completely wipe and reload macOS and sell it like a brand new machine to somebody else. Or say this enterprise machine. One of your employees may not like the restrictions that you put on their Mac computer. So they can boot to the recovery partition, wipe the machine, and now they've got a Mac that's no longer under your control as the enterprise. By setting a firmware password, anyone can still turn on and off the machine just like normal. However, you're preventing anyone from booting to the recovery partition, a CD, a DVD, or a flash drive without knowing the password. Now that we're in recovery mode, we can go on to the next step. To set a firmware password, you're going to go up to the menu bar and select the Utilities option. Because this Mac is running Big Sur, you're going to see the option for Startup Security Utility here. However, if you're using a Mac that is earlier than Mac OS 11, Big Sur, i.e. 10, 15, 14, etc., you're just going to see the option called Firmware Password. In either case, you're going to click on that option. You'll now have this window that pops up in the center that tells you that the firmware password protection is currently off and that by turning on the firmware password, you'll be preventing this computer from starting from an external hard drive, CD, DVD, or the recovery partition. Now it is absolutely vital that once you set this password, you remember it. If you do not remember this password, you are not gonna be able to boot into an external drive or recovery mode or anything in case you have any problems. So make sure that you write this down in something like a password manager like LastPass or 1Password, even just a secure notebook. Just make sure that you write it down and you do not lose this password. If your Mac is running Big Sur but has a T2 chip, this interface is gonna look a little different. Because my Mac lacks a T2 chip, I have a much plainer interface. But either way, the firmware password is gonna be at the top. So I'm gonna hit turn on firmware password. And here I will type in my password as well as type it in a second time in order to verify it. Obviously the longer and more random a password is, the better it's going to be and more secure. Again, just make sure that you store this password in a secure place like a password manager. I'm gonna hit set password. And now all we have to do is quit out of startup utility and reboot the Mac. So we'll be back in a second once we do that. So now I'm back on the login screen, but I'm gonna reboot this again so I can show you what it looks like if you try to boot into recovery mode with the firmware password. So let's reboot and hold down command R to get into recovery mode. And once it registers that we're going into recovery mode, it should show the firmware password lock here pretty quickly. There it is. You can now see that we have a padlock icon with a password box in the center. So in order to get past this, you need to just type it in. I'm clicking on it just out of habit. You don't need to do that though. But I'm going to start typing in the password. Now, if the password is input wrong, the password box is just gonna go blank. However, if you type in the correct password, then the padlock icon and the password box should disappear in just a minute. And then you'll start booting into recovery mode or the external drive if you're booting to that. Once we're back in recovery mode, now I can show you how to change the firmware password or to turn it off entirely if that's what you need to do. Just like before, we're gonna go up to the menu bar and select the utilities menu and then select startup security utility or firmware password if you're running a version of Mac from before Big Sur or version 11. Just like before, the firmware password box should pop up, but now you have the option to either turn off the password or change the password. For this first one, I'm actually gonna hit change password. Here, it'll ask you for the old password and then to type in the new password you want set twice. I'm gonna cancel out of this and then show you how to turn off the firmware password. As you might expect, you're gonna to need to type in your existing firmware password, but then you just hit turn off password and that's it, you've turned off the firmware password. The last step is just going to be quitting out of the firmware password utility and then rebooting your Mac. And that's how you turn on and off a firmware password on macOS.
Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like. It really helps the channel grow. And if you want more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice, subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on social media. We now have an Instagram too, so check it out. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you next time.